minute, but I'm going to continue these videos through all of these solutions. So if you have a question, you can hang out. I'll be here 30 minutes beyond. Oh, it's 3.15 is the last. So I'll be here till 3.45 if you have any questions. Once again, I would not put this in, therefore I do not need this. I would not put this in, therefore I do not need this. I would not put this in because it's a quarter round, and if I call it out with a radius of one, I know go, I go to the right one and up one, and there's the center. We never locate quarter rounds. They are tangent to the two surfaces that it blends. And we put a quarter round in something like this, to strengthen this shape to the bottom. So that's when you add material with a round like that, it's actually strengthening that. If I added a fillet right here, it would strengthen this plane to this plane. So once again, if I don't have this one, then I'm not going to have that. And I never draw those in here. I don't see anything over here because it's in line with this Head in line. I don't see anything right here because it's not, it's in line with this notch right there. So they did not draw those in because of that. But up here we have the extents. So we have our little notch here, right there. And then we have the extents of the circle. And to show that those hidden lines are a circle, you know, this hidden line could be the center of a full round right here. If this little notch was a full round, it would look the same. So you have to have this front view for that. We have our legs going, this leg goes all the way up here because this, this is kind of the extents of this full round. If you stopped it short here, that's fine too. But this full round goes all the way up and you could do it either way, in my opinion. This one comes all the way out because these are concentric circles and this one goes just beyond the only circular element at the bottom. From the side, we have our notch, we have our hole, and then we have the bottom of the little notch in the top, and then our axial center line for that hole. We have the extents of the hole right here. 